Hello, it's Ronnie Duck and welcome back for another video. Uh, this time I've got two replays for you in this British Tier 10 heavy tank, the Chieftain. Uh, the first replay is a little bit of an older one I've had for a little time and the second one is a, a newer replay I've only recently got. Um, the first replay, we're platooned up with Crow um, and his buddy and I can't pronounce the name so I'm not even going to try. Um, but yeah, we're on Kasserine, and it's Kasserine Encounter, which is, I'm not a fan, because far too often um, the, the enemy team either caps out really quickly, or even worse, you know, or, or you cap out really quickly in a friendly team, and it's often a bit of a, yeah, not not for me, not, not for me, can have quite a lot of bad gameplay because of the design of the map. Um, with, with this mode, it's not very well suited in my opinion. Um, but anyway, we, we go on to you know to have a reasonable game here in the Chieftain. And the, the Chieftain, since the buff of the, the mobility, you see I'm flying along here um, at like 45 kilometers an hour, it, there's just nothing this tank can't do anymore. It's such a fantastic tank. Um, it, it's got good mobility for a heavy tank, decent turret armor you know you can block hold down you can block a lot of shots got good gun depression um got a fantastic gun um you know good accuracy good aim time it's good dpm it's really got everything there's there's you know i guess you you, you can call it a heavy medium now if you like where the super congo is a little bit slower but that better armor um you know the fe you know 215b is is you know still one of my favorite one to play out out of the three because it's a bit more niche um and you've got that um sort of fabulous gun that really has the best gun out of the three uh, but it's a little bit more awkward to play but the chieftain is just it, it does everything well there's you know there isn't really a map where you get on it and you think oh, i wish it, you know i wasn't in a chieftain because it can really play every single map um you know well um, so yeah, Warren Catherine, what we've done, we, we pushed quite aggressively because we saw that the, a lot of the enemy team, you know, was pushing uh, into the middle and we saw a window of opportunity to take the ridge behind the enemy team because I knew if I took this position, one, it's going to take the fun police out of the game, which, you know, everyone wants to see. Um, and, then, and then also, if I do, I then put the enemy in a really difficult position where they're sort of surrounded with no map control. Um, and the second you lose the map control is, you know, it's when you start losing the game. Um, so you see, you get a nice block there with the turret of this chieftain off that T95. Um, he's kind of, you know, stuck in a really awkward situation for himself. He didn't really do a lot wrong. He just kind of got stuck, uh, left without the support of his team. Um, and obviously, if you've ever played that T95, it's not exactly a tank you can just quickly relocate. Uh, you kind of made your bed. Um, so yeah, felt a little bit bad for him, but you know, damage is damage. Um, now it's time to farm this T uh, Type 4 Heavy, which is stuck in the, the, the open uh, because of this position we've taken. Uh, so we make short work of him. Um, I've got lots of shots here. Now this hard case, it's got obviously troll side armor. I should be shooting the drive wheel in the rear there um, to pen him, not shooting that spaced armor. Uh, but I've got this chieftain um, sort of pushing me on the side here. I'm not overly concerned but it is something i'll keep an eye out for because it's a bit of a pain because i want to just keep farming these guys on the left that's what i want to be doing um but this chieftain is you know keeping me occupied i kind of want him to full send me because then i know i'll be able to take him out i do have the hit point advantage i haven't actually lost any hit points yet so i know worst case scenario he full sends me um, I'm going to win in a straight DPM race because you know I've got the hit points advantage. So I finally decided to actually shoot the track wheel there, that hard case, and we take him out, putting us onto four and a half k. Um, I'm looking now to see if it's my opportunity to take out this chieftain. I was a bit hesitant at the start just because it was tank destroyers covering him like that um, uh, TD, which we get, you know we can see in the background that grill. Uh, but now uh, they're not. I'm lower lower down there from their gun line. And we're able to take out that uh, chieftain, and it's almost—I don't ever want to say clean up time because the, the scores is not that you know much advantage. But we've kind of 
it is now. We've kind of taken all of the uh, control over them and because we took that map control away so quickly, uh, the enemy team was always going to fight a losing battle there, I'm a, I think, with me being in that position. Um, so now it's just mop up and trying to finish up as much damage as we can. Annoyingly, I, I, I kind of get towards the end of the game, it's a bit disappointing because I kind of miss a lot of shots. So that grill shot, I think, should have probably hit. Um, and I don't actually do any damage there. Uh, we get a shot there, but only does the critical damage. So that could have been another shot of damage. Uh, so we end up missing out on some damage here at the end, which is a bit frustrating because it kind of looked at one point that there's quite a few tanks left. Um, and I was already having a decent game, you know, on 6k. Um, so I was thinking, oh, maybe I can get sort of 8k here. But everything seems to have just... Um, disappeared in front of me the time I've got there which often does uh, we just miss, missed out on a kill there uh, and now there's only two TDs remaining um, and it's just a race of time to see if we can get across there now the good thing about the Chieftain is you've got a chance if I was in the Super Conqueror um, I wouldn't have been able to sort of I'd had to gone a more direct route at the end there because otherwise I wouldn't have made it for the damage where the Chieftain you've got that mobility uh, bonus that you, you know you've got half a chance of getting there um, so Crow actually takes out that uh, object 268-5 um, and then it's just this Krill, Grill who is running away from me, um, he doesn't want to get shot which is a bit of a shame because I think I need this kill for the top gun so I'm kind of hoping that he just, you know, he's going to stay but he, he's obviously doing all he can to stay alive and unfortunately we don't manage to pick up that kill. But that brings us into the first replay, we've got you know, a bigger replay coming next, um, so what do we do, we've got 5 kills just shy of 7,000 damage, uh, 1,000 assistance, a straight 2k blocked, um, ace tanker, high caliber, um, and yeah, that brings us to the end of this one, so if you stay with us, I'll see you in a bit for the second replay. Okay, so thanks for staying with us. Um, here we are on the second replay on Fripple Ridge, and there is no fun police in this game, which is kind of key because it kind of allows us to play in a more advanced position than I might have been able to get away with um, if there was fun police in the game. Well, I almost certainly wouldn't be able to get away with it because um, everyone knows what the fun police can do. Um, but there is no fun police and it, it's brilliant because I can use a position in this chieftain where where I've got a few tanks supporting me here um, is going to work really well and I should be able to get quite a bit of damage off and actually use the tanks um, you know, the good turret to, to, to good use, really. Um, I mean, tur the turret is really nice on this. Obviously, it works a lot better when I'm using the, on a ridge line, because I'll be able to uh, extend the armour of the turret by increasing the, uh, you know, the angle by using my gun depression. Uh, this position, I can't necessarily do that that well, uh, but I can still, you know, make it work. So, you see, you know, we pushed here really aggressively. This bat chat has sort of caught me out, but we've got a lot of guns looking at him. We're wiggling the best I can to try and make him bounce a few shots. He did bounce two shots, I believe, and we've taken him out nice and quickly, which is really good. Um, and now I'm going to be able to hopefully use the position I wanted to use. The first thing we've got to do, though, is take care of this object 430-2. Um, and you see here, I wouldn't be able to use this position if there was the artillery there because he would be constantly hitting me, and I wouldn't be a very difficult shot for the artillery to even hit me here. But knowing that that's not the case, I haven't got them in their position, I can use this position and it's a good position for this tank in this scenario. Um, this 430U, unfortunately he's stuck in an awkward position. He's an easy farm for me here because I'm only exposing a little bit of my turret armour um, and there's very little he can do to escape this 430U now. Um, and you can see the great DPM of this tank coming in. Uh, you know, so clutch here. Um, it's really taken me no time at all to, to take out that um, tier 9 tank. Um, and yes, that's been a really decent start to the game, you know, 2,400, 800 assistance, um, not lost too many hit points. Uh, we do start getting penned here now, though, for this stuff. You know, it's, it's, things are like the, the H6 uh, sort of six hill, but also in like the K7, 8 area, uh, there's TDs or there's some, I think it must be either the T100 or the K91 or whatever, judging by the amount of hit points I'm losing. Um, so that, that's a bit of a problem for me um, and it's making it a little bit awkward but I'm just still trying to get shots in where I can. Um, ideally I'd like those stuff lit up but until we've got rid of this super conqueror, sorry this conqueror um, and other heavy tank on my left 
that there's not a lot I can do about it. You know, I'm just going to have to deal with it and, and just try and only expose myself for a, you know, a lesser period of time. So it was that K91 there. He's had to fall back now, so I know I don't have to worry about him shooting me for just a little bit of time because he's, you know, he's he's lower down now and he's going to have to reposition himself. So I've got a little bit of time before he's going to shoot me again. Um, and I'm going to make use of that time by putting shots into his Conqueror. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, he's because he's not you know, he's not in a position to use any of his gun depression i'm not going to struggle to go through the side wall of that turret um so yeah this is in the object 279e comes around you see i am risking it to get shots into these because i know the second they're dead that means i can start working on the rest of the damage um i've already had a decent game We're down to sort of 900 hit points but i think we've used our hit points quite wisely there um, and we traded them out in the position you know like we'd want to really you know we, we've definitely out got good damage out for the hit points we've uh, lost uh, we now take out that t100 i'm lit i'm just going to get behind this uh, bat dead bat chat at the moment just to um keep myself uh low, you know all my weak points covered uh while we're making our advance that has slowed me down a little bit because i <laughs> it's getting to the stage of the game now where it's um you got to get you can't hesitate if you want to get the rest of the damage i've got 5000 damage there's more damage to be had uh, but i have to try if i can and get ahead of my gun line um so that i can be the first one getting into the damage you know it, that, that that's that's the key difference when you can turn like a, a a fairly okay game into a decent game um you see that i'll get the shots of this t32 but i'm not even stopping you know i'm just aiming them on the move and the chieftain can do that you know it's got it's such a good gun that you can take those shots on the move um and you will hit more often than not um, I wasn't snapshotting, I was aiming them, but even then the aim time comes in quite nicely. Uh, we know that the rest of the tanks are going to be behind this ridge on our right and then the few remaining on the left. So what we're hoping to do is get up onto this ridge to get shots into the guys on the left. Once we're taking care of them, got that little bit of cheeky extra damage, we're then going to poke over the ridge and take care of the rest of the stuff. But it's all about just trying at this stage, just getting as max amount of shots in as I can. I just want to get as many damage in as I can. So... Even though I'm approaching the position I want to go to, unfortunately that one only does track damage, but I'm getting shots in on the way. Uh, and now we've got this T95 who's, I don't know, yeah, I think by the looks of it, he potentially is AFK. Yeah, he's not moving or, so I don't, he's either, you know, AFK or uh, he's given up, I don't know. Uh, but either way, it's free damage for us now. Uh, we're using the, you know, the ridge line where the chief excels um, just to get that good depression in. Um, and now, again, it's the Jag Tiger. I want to get as much damage in as I can. I can see that he's going to die. Um, so how to get more damage in while we're waiting? We'll go for a cheeky ram as well, just because every little bit counts, you know, maximising every damage you can get in that scenario. Um, and then we finish him off and bring us an end to the replay. And, yeah, we've got a fairly... Considering the game was only, like, five minutes, um, we've got 9,000 damage. So, yeah, a four kills, so a pretty decent game um 1700 assistance just over 2k blocked and that brings us an end to the replay um so yeah thank you so much for watching and as always happy tanking enemy in sight